In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple trick that will let you integrate x to the power of minus 1. So we have our integral there, and the first thing you have to realize is that this can actually be rewritten in a slightly different way. So we can say that x to the power of minus 1 is actually exactly the same thing as 1 over x. Wherever you have x to a negative power, you can simply move the x to the bottom and change it to a positive power, and that doesn't actually change the integration at all. The next thing you have to realize is that this is actually a special case, and there's always a good reason to be looking out for this special case, because it can make your life a lot easier where it appears. So the rule is that where you have some function f of x, and the f of x is on the bottom, and the derivative of f of x is on the top of the fraction, then it has a simple integration. You can simply say that the integral is the natural logarithm of f of x. So that's whatever is on the bottom goes into the natural logarithm. And then you just add the constant of integration. And this will integrate the function immediately. So always be looking out for this. So let's go back to our example. So we have the integral of 1 over x. We should recognize that the bottom function is going to be our f of x. So we're going to label that f of x. The derivative of x is simply 1. So that means that the top is actually the derivative of the bottom. And therefore, this rule can be used. And so we can instantly say that this is simply going to be the natural logarithm of x. Or in other words, this is our f of x. This is our ln f of x. We just replace that with x. And we add the constant of integration. And we have simply done the integral. So always look out for that special case. And where it appears, you can instantly integrate it using that rule. Hope this video was helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.